Hi all, Martin Brown here. In this video, I'm going to show you the loading, analysis, and member sizing that is in NDN. But don't worry, it's not going to take too long. We will use the model that was actually used in the engineering of the project that's shown here in the startup image. As you can see, it's quite an interesting model. Okay, first let's define some load cases. Load case one will represent pre-stress and dead load. Load case two will be a wind load. We'll use 15 PSF for the design pressure. This is a service load condition. We'll define the wind blowing in this direction. Choose an appropriate wind coefficient library file and then generate the coefficients. Next, I'll make a load case three. Same pressure and wind direction, but let's use a different wind coefficient library file. In this example, let's use one more load case, a live load case, a relatively light live load of five PSF. Okay, we have four load cases now. On a real project, you would use more, but this is enough for a demonstration. I should point out that these are our assumed section properties. We have not analyzed the model yet, so we just have assumed sizes for both the steel and the cables. Next, we are going to analyze the structure and then go into the post-processor and size the members based on the analysis. So let's go into the analysis. Since we are doing large deflection analysis, we need to iterate through each load case. At each iteration, the stiffness matrix is rebuilt and solved for the displacements. We're into load case three now, and the last load case. Now we will go into the post-processor and check our member sizes. In this example, we are using the US AISC code. With this code, we have our choice of either LRFD or ASD. NDN does both. So let's check the sizes. Green means the size is okay. Pink or red means the sections are overstressed and not meeting the code. Same with the cables. Now let's let NDN size the steel. So what it has done is to find the most efficient sections that work according to the steel code and the analysis that we have just run. We can run a check and see that they are all good. We also resize the cables and then run a check. So here in the post-processor, we have established different sizes than what we had assumed when we built the model. So to be correct, we need to update the section sizes in the model and rerun the analysis. That is real easy to do. All you have to do is click this button, update model. Now we can go ahead and rerun the analysis. So the analysis is now complete. Let's go back to the post-processor and double check our members. Everything looks good, the cables are good, and the steel looks good. So I hope you have found this useful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. And thanks for watching.